Hey, what's up, guys? It's Tim here with TestDemi.com, test automation for beginners, test um, using Selenium WebDriver and Python. Uh, we looked at, uh, in last tutorial, tutorial 31, uh, we looked at class variables versus instance variables. Uh, I want to do one more part of this, which is part two, uh, which we didn't actually get to get to in the last video. This is going to be real short, so we're going to jump right into it. Let's go! Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, let's jump into it. Hope you guys ready to go, dig into some code, you know, flow. <laughs> All right, so um, on the last um, tutorial, everyone, uh, we looked at this uh, class variable, I should call it really, uh, this class variable, and you can see it was a flat panel monitor. And when we actually uh, called it, we just did a print, and we called the class, which is computers dot the monitor, which is the function, and it printed out here, flat panel monitor. Now, when we look at the actual objects that were created, in this case, we created an Apple computer object, there was an HP computer object, and there was a Dell computer object. Well, if you want to actually now access this monitor, which flat panel monitor, uh, which is the value uh, class variable, uh, what you want to do here is pretty much the same thing. Um, so I actually already did it, but let me just do it again. You want to do Apple, right, which is the object, dot, and you can see the monitor is available as a function. Because now, but that's the class function. Class variable, I should say. So we say this is the class variable, right? Um, yeah, that's a class variable. And up here, actually, let's let's do this. Let's move this up here. So just I want I want to just do this for clarity's sake. So this is a class variable, right? So let's go ahead and wrap this in a print function, right? So you can see how we can access monitors, right? Because monitors is the class variable. Whereas the instance variable, which is here part of this uh, instance function or instance method, right? Name, color, operating system, you can have as many as you want. Those instance when you initialize instance variables here, um, this instance variables for this particular um, uh, method is right here, the Macintosh green iOS. So uh, let me just change this here because you already know this. That's how we instantiate a class here. We're going to put, so this is the uh, instance, right? So an instance, instant variable, right? So here we go. This is the instance variable and this is the class variable. But now this is actually using the objects we created previously in the last video, uh, part one. I was just introducing the concepts of class variables versus instance variables, how to create it and differentiate it. But now we're actually going to use it uh, based on the object we created, which is the apples. So now you can just do apple.monitor, class variable. You can see the instance variable. So let's go ahead and run that. We go back up. You can see this flat, pon flat panel monitor twice. But let me uh, print this. Let me uh, comment this out, which was the first one. Uh, right. So let's let's comment that out and let's do this again. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. So as you can see here, it went in and just printed out the flat panel monitor. So let's do this. Let's actually go ahead and move this up. So it doesn't really matter where you actually print. It's always going to actually it's actually going to print that out first every time, but Let's go ahead and move this up. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, create this space here. So you're going to do apple.monitor. Let's see here. Oh, right, right. Okay, I see. So, right, it's going to it's saying on, on resolve reference, as you can see, right? Because it's on resolve ref reference, which makes sense because it has not, it doesn't know what Apple is because we uh, instantiated it here below. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and just move this back down. Right, there we go. So now it knows what it says, and we go ahead and run it. You know, though we ran it, it prints it out first because that's the actual class variable, and after that, it begins to work on your instance variables, which are the Macintosh, Green, and iOS, okay? So that's Apple, and if we go ahead and uh, follow the same logic here, uh, after our HP, again, this is the, just to make it clear, this is the instance variable, and now we're going to go ahead and create the class variable for HP, right? So we're going to do HP dot, uh, so actually let's just do print, and we're going to do HP dot, and you're going to see monitor, all right, and that's our class variable, it's going to do the same thing, 
So you can see here flat panel monitor, which you grab from here, the class variable, and uh, the instance variable. You guys can see we can always change these, right? Excuse me. The same thing we can do for our Dell computer, right? We go ahead and say we can do print, and we can do Dell, and monitor function. Put our comments. This is the class variable, and this is also the instance variable. So just trying to show you guys how to comment your code. So you can see the difference here. Again, the last in the last uh, video we just did computers dot the instance, uh, excuse me, the variable name, which is uh, monitor. Uh, in this case, we're actually using them as part of the object and calling that particular class variable for each object, in each object. So run it, and you're going to see here also flat panel monitor, Dell Black Unix, right? Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. If you, if, uh, if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go ahead and like it, guys. Let's go to get some likes up. Comment if you don't mind. Have Leave your questions. And also, check out testdemi.com. They have free tutorials. If you if you need uh, if you're trying to get into software testing, and you have no experience. I have some great tutorial there, and it's all free, just for you, 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 you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Check you out soon. Testdemi.com. We out. Peace.